It's that magical time. Let me fix my curtain. Gotta have that YouTube professionalism. You see, I added a curtain in the back. And I put some swing dancing decor on the left here so you guys can get the, the atmosphere. Just finished some good dinner. I'm doing that little keto diet. It's been really complicated, but I had a good dinner and got a text message from uh, one of my Patreon supporters, uh, Nicola Page from the UK. And she wants me to take a look at this video. I haven't seen it. It's from the Seoul Lindy Hop Championships 2019. And I love Lindy Hop, but I love watching it too. And since this is my house, I get to be the judge, jury, and executioner. I'm sorry. So here we go. Let's see what this is all about. See if this uh, is actually pretty good. All right, like that logo. <laughs> I like what I see already. Yeah! He's not playing around. <laughs> the bump with the body. <laughs> Ah, first place, <laughs> right there. He's got a body and he is not scared. Look at that confidence. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, the timing. Don't sleep on him, folks. Oh, this is good. Swing out! Ah. Ooh, I like that edit. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Woo! I am not PC, folks. I am not. And I looked at him at first and I thought, is that a suit or is that his actual size? Because if it's his actual size, he's about to throw down and I know it. And he did. There's something so raw and wonderful about someone who is not scared to move their body. You're that one tall guy in a room full of short people and you can just throw down and, and do that. You know, like it looks gumpy on most people, but you're so tall, it doesn't matter. That is what it is about. I don't know what place that guy got, but I'm looking right here and it looks like the uh, man, 119,926 views. Now views don't necessitate the importance of the performance, uh, but it does help people recognize that there's a bunch of hype for some kind of reason. Social proof is huge. And if I was a judge, man, It'd be hard to follow that. It would be hard to follow that. So some of you know, like some of the ways that I like to judge competitions. I like to look at three components. And these components, the audience kind of 
internalizes. They kind of know these things, but judges, we're a little pretentious. We kind of we kind of judge you on things we wish you should have done, uh, or we judge you on things in many cases that uh, may not be what the audience is looking for. And that's okay too, but this is my house. So the top three things I look for, and some of you are going to be at an event that I am going to teach at in a few hours tomorrow morning once I leave. So take notes. First thing. We all, we all use different words to describe these things. I just want to preface saying that, but one of the top things the audience looks at and one of the things that I look at is control. This word, control, I just want to see clarity from one side of the body to the other. I want to see someone give energy and then I want to see what happens to it. When it's too loud and everybody's moving at the same time, I don't know what to look at. I'm confused. It's like, do I, do I, do we hug? Do we fist pump? Are we friends? Are we dating? <laughs> What's up? I don't know. But control, when I see control, you're automatically in third place because control is hard to do. That is that technical aspect of swing dancing, the part where you have to, if you're a leader, you've got to control the impulse to just do too much, right? We get excited. And that's the thing I look for. If you got that, like I said, you're getting third place. If you have timing, timing is so important. If I don't know swing music and I've never watched swing dancers, all I can see is the loudest part in the music that stands out uh, with the melody. And if a person is able to show me some kind of contrast to where they're dancing like this, dooby 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 doo, light. And all of a sudden, the timing of the music changes. Bam! Dooby 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 doo. Brown. Contrast, right? That's what I want to see. And if you've got that timing, that timing is impeccable. You can pick your nose in the right time and get second place. It's just the way it is. That's how the judges may not look at it, but the audience, we just kind of take it in a lot of times that way. You got control, you've got time, and you're like, man, that guy should have won second. What were they smoking? Should have got second. But then we all know who first place is. There's always that person who has that extra, there's always that extra juice. And that juice, I like to call creativity. Show me something I haven't seen before. We've seen it. We've seen it all. But if you've got the juice, and if you got that extra bit of choreography, that move, that everybody said, you know what? That was all good and all. Everybody did a great job. But that couple that had that one move, you know that one move I'm talking about? They won, hands down. I, you know that that's the couple because people start taking off their shoes and throwing those shoes at people. I love that. I love that. But that's it, folks. This couple, they would have won first place. And I, I think they had some tangible but intangible qualities to that routine that other people may not have been able to match. I mean, he looked a very specific way. She looked a very specific way. And I think the humor aspect of Lindy Hop and the fact that he was bigger and she was smaller, I think that just immediately got me hooked. I was like, okay, this is going to be a disaster or he's going to be a genius and she's going to be beautiful. And that's exactly what happened. So if I was judging this guy, they would have won first place and I would have had no shame to say it because the timing, the technique, the control, all of it was there. And I'm going to watch this again off camera because I did get chicken skin. I felt it just a little bit. That's hard to make me feel. So anyway, what did you guys think about this, this competition? This actually happened in October. So it's just a couple of weeks ago. I missed it. So if you were a Patreon supporter and you got a new video, please send it to me. I love to watch it. I ain't got time to just sit all day and look at it. So send me a video and I'll give you my opinion on it as someone who's a professional and who goes out there and judges competitions and performs in competitions. So anyway, if you're not in the game yet, get in the game. You need to swing dance. I got 30 courses below, at least 30 courses that you can learn how to do this at home. It's not that hard. Don't listen to them. People make it seem like it's hard. That's because we've got to have a job, right? <laughs> But the reality is, it's not that hard. That's not. And uh, 
I'd love to dance with you. So let me know about this one in the comments section. What did you think? You think they're overrated? You think I'm just a, a fanboy? Or am I right? My first place. I'm right because it's my house, but you might disagree in your house. So let me know in the comments section. I'll see you guys soon. Boom.